Hello, my name is John Boring, spelled just like it sounds. I want to welcome you to a series of online videos about interviewing candidates. In this video today, we will focus on how to build your own behavioral interview questions. All of these videos are brought to you by the website Talentron.com. So let's start with a few fundamentals. Behavioral interviewing is based in the theory that a person's most recent past behavior is the best indicator of future behavior. Most behavioral interview questions, though, are not questions at all. They're statements designed to get a candidate to reveal information in a job interview. There are three parts to any well-formed behavioral interview question. The opening, the problem or situation, and what we call the bar raiser. Each of these three parts accomplishes something different. The opening sets the stage for the story you want the candidate to tell you. The problem or situation makes the question unique to the role that the new employee will be facing, and the bar raiser is designed to make questions not only more specific to your situation, but it also increases the level of difficulty in answering it. Now let's look at how to build your own behavioral interview questions. First part of the interview question is called the opening. The opening lays the groundwork for the rest of the question. For instance, Tell me about a time when is one of my personal favorite openings. Some other examples might include tell me how, describe a time when, giving an example of, or walk me through how. You can see how these openings invite the candidate to tell you a story. To keep from sounding repetitive, you might want to vary your openings during the interview though. Let's make the question unique to your situation and the job you're trying to fill now. The second part of the interview question is called the problem or situation. This is where you customize the question to your situation. This part begins with an action the new employee might have to take in their new role. For instance, this can include situations like influencing another person, implementing a specific policy, or building a department. Obviously the list is infinite, but you should include any critical responsibilities that you believe the job will include. You can see that by putting the problem or situation together with the opening, you will have the fundamental building blocks in place for a custom behavioral question. The third part of the interview question we call the bar raiser. Is, this is varies the level of difficulty on a behavioral question you will be able to make it more custom and specific to your situation using this. Changing the difficulty on any question can be done by removing or adding resources. In any job the resources will vary but usually include things like budget, people, time, authority, organizational support, etc. Adding a bar raiser to the end of your question makes it more difficult. Even though the list is infinite, here are some examples of bar raisers you might consider using to increase the level of difficulty on your questions. You were not given adequate budget. You did not have enough time. You did not agree with the direction given. You had difficult people to work with. You had a critical member of the team missing. One word of caution about adding a bar raiser is not to give the answer away. Often the more specific your question is, the more you're telegraphing the answer you want. So be careful here. Staying with our current examples, let's increase the difficulty even more. You had to influence individuals on a team that did not agree with you, and you had a limited amount of time to get them on board. You had to implement an unlimited vacation policy and you did not agree with it. Or you had to recruit engineers and the budgets had not yet been agreed to. In conclusion, it is simple to build custom behavioral interview questions using three components. An inviting opening, an accurately described problem or situation, a bar raising component to increase the difficulty. After a few times of doing this, it will become second nature. Remember to visit Talentron.com for lots of help in interviewing more effectively. Happy hiring!